Thank you, Marion. Thanks. Okay. Pursuant to Chapter 20 of the Acts of 2021, this meeting will be conducted by a remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so in the following manner by emailing Steve McCarthy at McCarthyS at AmherstMA.gov. That's M-C-C-A-R-T-H-Y-S at AmherstMA.gov. No in-person attendance of members of the public will be permitted, but every effort will be made to ensure that the public can adequately access the proceedings in real time via technological means. In the event that we are unable to do so for reasons of economic hardship and despite best efforts, we will post on the Amherst website an audio or video recording, transcript, or other comprehensive record of proceedings as soon as possible after the meeting. And with that done, I'll call the meeting to order at uh, 5.02 p.m. and take a roll call of attendance. Uh, Gaston. Here. Kelly. Here. Doug. Here. Dylan. Here. And I'm here. We're all here. Great. So is there anyone here for public comment? Is there anyone here at all? Oh, someone's attending. If you have, um, oh, it is Christy Bo Bodine's hand is up. Yes, I just wanted to let you know I was here. I had thought I wasn't going to be able to be here, but. Oh, but okay. Yeah. Are you related to the spoke hearing? I'm the, the attorney for the spoke. Oh, okay, great. So um, thank you for being here. Um, so I guess there's no one, and this is just general public comment, not related to anything on the agenda, but since you're here, we can move on from that to the next item, which is the spoke hearing. And we're gonna open this and then continue it. Is that correct? Um, so I spoke to to my client uh, to chat over work and I'm here to present the application and answer any questions you have. If you have specific questions that he needs to answer, um, then I would ask you to continue it because he isn't able to be here tonight, but I am, I've got the application, I've got the information. So I guess if you felt comfortable voting tonight, um, we would be happy for you to go forward. But if you want to have his specific input, then we would ask to continue it. Uh, I think we'll probably continue because we didn't get the application. Is that correct? Didn't, Steve, you didn't send that around, right? Yeah, no, based on the uh, the representation, we'd be continuing it as well as um, oh. my own uh, personal emergency outside the office. We didn't send those along yet or send them for police chief review. So we were uh, looking for the 30th, I believe, to continue that too. For, oh, I thought it was, so when is it? I thought it was going to be the, the 9th. So what? The 30th of March. Oh, okay. That's... Yeah. That's later than I thought. All right. Um, okay. Yeah, we do, we will be meeting on the 16th, but um, there will be the four applications for the um, available all alcohol off premises liquor license. So that will um, likely be a very late meeting as it is. So I, I leave it to the board's um, discretion as to when to move it. But with that with that in mind. So was there um, some reason, so Chad couldn't make it tonight and would he be able to make it on the uh, the 30th, right? Is that, is that? Well, is that we had thought it was gonna be the 16th. I think he can make it on the 30th. I'll, I'll make sure okay. that, so that I'll make some, that happen. Let, let's so put did, it that way. Cause we don't okay. wanna put it off any longer. Did anyone want to, did, uh, did you need it done or sooner rather than later? Is that what you were counting on? Is there something that's going to be held up in the, the process? No, we're, we're, we have a simultaneous um, application process going through with the ZBA and okay. that hearing um, isn't, Steve, you know, is that, that's April, right? Yeah, is that'll it? be the 6th of April, I believe. Yeah. So we're trying to run these applications in parallel because of the timelining, you know, for both that we kind of would right. like to have them both finish up at the same time. But the 30th is fine for us for the liquor license. That's not a, that's not a problem. Okay, great. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, that would be, yeah, would, that would work. All right. So if everyone's fine with the, the 30th, we'll just open the hearing and then continue it until March 30th. Um, and, and at the same time on the, on the at five o'clock on the 30th? Yes. And Steve, will you you list the time as the five o'clock, or and we'll just get right to it, or do you want yeah, to? Yeah, we'll five, we'll just um, yeah. The board can move to continue it to the thirtieth, and uh, yeah, it'll be at, at five o'clock. Okay, great. So, is there a motion to open the hearing for the liquor license for the spoke? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thank you, Dylan. Um, take a vote. Gaston. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Doug. Aye. Dylan. Aye. 
And I vote aye, that's five to zero. The hearing is now open and um, we're just going to continue it. Is there a motion to continue the hearing until March 30th? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Uh, thank you, Dylan, for the second. Uh, we'll take a vote. Gaston? Aye. Kelly? Aye. Doug? Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. The hearing for the spoke is continued until March 30th. Um, thank you so much for coming in. How do I how do you pronounce your last name? Is it Bo, Bodine? I pronounce it Bodine. It looks like Bodine, Bodine but it, okay. All right. it, it gets pronounced either way. That I'm not too fussy. <laughs> okay, great. Thank, thank you. you very thank you so much for coming in and thank you. we'll see you on the 30th. Thank okay, terrific. So Thanks a lot. Right. Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. So that was the one thing we had on the agenda. And except for topics not anticipated 48 hours prior to the meeting, so it's going to be very short tonight. Um, are there any topics? Not yet. I uh, got Gaston, and then Hallie, and then Doug. Okay. Well, we, it's, it's, we, we're uh, getting into things. So um, I just wanted to note that I, that we you, you may have seen the article that that I asked Steve to forward about Panda East. Yes. Uh, I, so I, I don't know. I, I I guess I want to raise the question if we want to, um, you know, invite the owners in. They're kind of making us look bad. <laughs> um, Although all of those came from spring of 2020, but I don't. I oh, agree. was it? Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. February, and then this was from March of 2020. Okay. All right. So, right. right. All right. So the okay. ABCC so guess, must have been all right. Just so, all over the place back then. Uh, put that aside. But then. Um, uh, another one to just be aware of um, in the cannabis world is, I don't know if you saw that there's um, someone who is seeking to open a topless dispensary in Waitley. So, you know, the conversation we had about how might these dispensaries differentiate, it seems like we're, we might be getting into this, the zone of differentiation. Okay, that's good to know. And I think, Doug, to keep that in mind when it comes to... Um, and I don't know what the regulations are. I don't think we license those kinds of things, places in Amherst. And I didn't see in the packet that we got that, Steve, do you know? Doug, do you know? Um, well, I guess there's two categories there, topless establishments and um, and dispensaries. And currently we don't have any, um, any uh, regulations for marijuana. We are working on those and um, we should probably circle back on that um, in the next month here. Um, but um, also, um, yeah, I don't know, there may be some state law considering those types of establishments as well on the other side. So right. that might be something to look into. I'm sure there's a lot of uh, arcane old uh, old statutes around that topic, so. Right, right, Doug? Um, I was just gonna say on the, on the, on the question of the uh, licensure for, for uh, marijuana establishments, I think that um, there is some, uh, potential action in the legislature, I haven't seen much on it other than just a brief mention that they're thinking about uh, and or <clears throat> promulgating regulation relative to the host community agreements and changes and what communities can and cannot use uh, their the revenue that they charge. Uh, there's been a lot of over the since it's been passed, there's been a lot of, of um, discussion about what is allowable to be in a host community agreement, what's allowable to charge them for, you know, the, and, and I don't know how soon or if the legislature will take any action, but um, it's still, you know, it's a bit of a fluid circumstance. I think they're thinking about it. There's some consideration of some changes that, that might provide some better clarity for, for towns about what, what they can charge and what they can use it for. Um, so that may shape a little bit of things relative to our work, but but I'm kind of keeping an eye on that. I haven't seen too too much, and I'm open to hearing if people have seen more or heard more about that. So I'm curious if anybody has. But um, I just saw a quick thing from I forget if it's like the DOR or something where they're discussing the the con you know the the potential regulation or changes to that and legislative action that might be happening or not. So that's all. Okay. All right. Great. Um, oh, and following up on the ABCC. Steve, at some point, uh, could you call the police chief again and see if he can come in and see if he's gotten it anywhere with finding out who is in charge over there now? Yes, I will get in touch and with him. And if he can get back to us about... Yeah, we, we'd have to follow up on that conversation. That would be great. And um, 
Oh, and I have not heard, gotten the regulations for the rental registration stuff from Mandy yet. So um, I think they're probably still working on those. And um, anything else, any other topics? Yes. Helly, sorry. Um, I just didn't know if anybody had read about the Iron Horse Entertainment oh, yeah. stuff going oh, on I in saw Hampton. That. Yeah, yeah. And it just made me think of two licenses we've granted, uh, Protocol and the Oyster Barn. I know they're under construction, but I didn't know if it would be worthwhile just sort of checking. It could be because I'm really excited for them to open. Right. But, um, it just might be worth kind of checking in to see where they stand considering Northampton is taking away. That's like, a really, yeah, that's a really great point. And I think I thought pro, one of them was supposed to open this past fall. Is that correct? One was, last time we heard, I thought one was going to open, protocol is going to open in the summer and Oyster Bar in the fall. And last year of 2022, right? Yeah. And they're still, yes. I think that's a good idea that we should follow up with that also. Steve, so um, yeah, they have been. Um, I think they submit insurance paperwork a few weeks ago, so I think they are trying to move forward. I think protocols anticipated before Oyster Bar, but I can check in with them and try to get more uh, firm okay. with timetable. Not that I want to take a license away, but you know, I just figure we should. Well, yeah, I mean, stay on top of where things are when we grant definitely. them. Right. No, that's a, a good idea. I think we should do that. So if we can uh, find a see if they have a, some kind of timeline, that would be great. Um, okay, and then next time, if there are no other topics, then next time we have the 16th is our meeting on the five o'clock and we have the four license applications, Steve, and- Yes, those, those four hearings. Okay, and, and they are on. all complete. And then, so we're, this is one of the things where we're, we're gonna open the hearing, we're gonna hear all four at once and then close the hearing and then we discuss in a very positive way and say what we like about each thing and then someone makes a nomination. Is that the correct procedure? Yes, I believe that's that's what we would do. Yeah, the four that's public hearings and then um, a, a vote discussion and votes on one. And Brian Riley, I did ask him to come um, okay. put in his calendar you know, several weeks ago, but I will follow up with him again, make sure he'll be attending. Okay, that would be great. And um, okay, and maybe just, we can go. Oh, sorry, go ahead, Helly. I was going to say, just to review, if we all are in agreement after discuss, discussing positively on one, then it mm -hmm. makes it easier if we grant a license, then we don't have to have a reason if why others are denied correctly. Is that? Well, I, I believe that one would be voted on and approved first, and the others would be denied because there's because, no license available. Okay. Right. Okay. And um, can we have just another, before we start the meeting on the 16th, can we have a discussion about how the procedure again? I mean, does that have to be? Uh, well, if we're all we, here, it if would we're all probably here, we can just discuss it in front of everybody. Okay. Yeah, I, I will check with Brian Riley and see what he can provide on that topic. Okay. And um, I don't know if we'll be able to meet in an executive session just kind of for purely procedural reasons. I don't think so, but okay. um, I'll ask him to see what he can prepare. Okay, that would be good. Thank you so much. Um, anything else from anybody? No? In that case, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you, Doug. Is there a second? Second. Thanks, Dylan. Um, take a vote, Gaston. Aye. Hallie. Aye. Doug. Aye. Dylan? Aye. And I vote aye. That is five to zero with nobody absent. We're adjourned at 5 16 p.m. Okay. Thanks, everybody. See you on the 16th. Okay. Thank right. you. Bye bye. Bye, Steve.